what I'm looking at is trying to get a box that uses the formula choose. Okay, first thing, go up to here, press the right hand mouse and pick up forms. Right, normally what I would do is do that, pick up forms, and then it would show. Alright, so there's forms. I can click this off just to clear off the grid on the background. There it is there, click toggle grid off. Alright, now, step one, I want the group box. I click onto it, come out here and draw a group box. I'm going to click onto there and just write the word dates. Okay, now I'm going to come here and grab and grab this one. I come here, draw it out there, and there's option button. Which, since I put it there, I'm going to write in there yesterday. And at the same time, I'm going to put some color into there. Alright? So, I'll go out to the color box, grab some color, and put in yesterday. Alright, I'll grab another one. Draw the box. Immediately highlight it. And call it today. I'll click on the edge, go to here, and then put a colour for today. Sorry, excuse the colour. Now I'm going to come to the button here, the option button, and draw another box here. Highlight the text there and call it tomorrow. OK, I'll click on the edge. Go up to the colour thing and then just put some more colour into it. There you are. OK. Now the next thing, I want to click onto this. And when I click on with the right hand box, this box comes up. I go down to Format Control. This comes up with this box. Cell Link. I have to link one cell with these boxes, option buttons here. I'm going to click there and click on to this one here. As always, I'll click on to Sharing 3D. OK that. Now you can see what's happened. When I click on Yesterday, that shows up there. When I click on to Today, that shows up there and tomorrow. All three are linked. Right, so these three are linked up with that. If I click onto there, now, I want to put some dates into here. Dates that link up with this and link up with this. So they link up with these through this. OK. You need choose, which is in FX. Go up to FX. Normally you would go down to here, put all, click on to here and choose choose from C. Just keep pressing C until choose comes up. There it is. OK that. OK. Which is the box that links these with the final thing there. Well, that is this one here. OK. Now in here, I have to put now, open bracket, close bracket, which is today, minus one, which is yesterday. The second one is now, open bracket, close bracket, leave it as it is. And tomorrow is now, open bracket, close bracket, plus one. If I OK that, I come up with this figure here for tomorrow. I'll click on to today. 
it changes slightly, or yesterday, slightly again. Now you have to bear in mind that time in Excel started Jan 1, 1900. So therefore, this number here is the number of days since 1900. Now, if I want to turn it into days, what I do is to go to here and format it. So I go up to Format, choose Cell, and now I go to Number. In Number, I'm looking for Date, and I'm looking again for March, not March, I'm looking for something that has a day, a month, and a year. If I OK that, there you have it. I'll just delete this. That was yesterday. That is today, and that is tomorrow. Now these will work automatically on yesterday, today and tomorrow in any days because now equals today's date whenever the date is. It won't change once I've made the film but it will change normally. This comes up because of choose it's linked to this. This comes up as one, two or three because of these. If I was trying to be clever with this I would go to here and change the colour so that now it looks like this and this are working together. Of course, you know they're not. I would also shut the Forms menu. So there it is. It looks rather good, I think. Thank you.